second year, second trip to the WNBA Finals. Yeah. Um, does that hit you kind of, what does that mean to you? I mean, every rookie does it. Yeah. Or a second year player doesn't get to right. experience it this um, early. I think it's crazy. It's really a blessing. I mean, it's an honor to play for this organization and to be a part of this team. I don't want to say it's like, I mean, we expect it to be here. So it's hard yeah. for me to just be like, it's my second year in the finals, you know? Right. I mean, it's our second straight year in the finals. So for me, I mean, it feels really good and it's exciting. All right, for you guys, do you, uh, do you feel like there's a different approach um, versus last year when you guys went to the finals? Yeah. This year? I think we're more sure of ourselves, if anything. Um, I mean, they're two different teams, you know. Um, but I think the most important thing is that we know who we are and we try to implement that from the beginning of games versus sitting back and letting things happen, you know. So I think that's a really big thing that we're sure of ourselves. All right, um, coming out of that war with Vegas, with how physical yeah. it was, do um, you feel like you guys learned anything about yourselves, like just being able to mm -hmm. get through something where, I mean, for the most part, some of the extra physicality, nothing was really cold. So. Yeah, I mean, I feel like at some point it becomes mental. I mean, not I mean, basketball is a mental game too, yeah. but at some point, everything's not going to be caught. Games are going to get physical. Plays are going to go. You know, it's basketball. You just got to find a way to keep it moving. And I think mentally we were able to keep it pretty baseline and not getting so emotional with a lot of different things that was going on. Uh, lastly, we obviously know what it meant for you guys last year. We knew you were missing a huge piece of Emma. Um, and this year, she's back, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> obviously, it's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. um, just what was that like during the series, you know, as that series was being closed out? That you guys really got, not, not you guys, but everyone got to see her value because I feel at right. times she's severely overlooked mm -hmm. for what she brings to the table. Right. Um, if you ain't know, now you know <laughs> type thing, you know. Um, but this is my first year playing with her. And I've, that was my first time seeing her be so aggressive offensively. And so that was the exciting piece about it. Because, I mean, you can see her do the things she does in the practice. Like, even just playing around, there's things that she does that you're just kind of like, Emma, like, right. <laughs> what? You know, so for her to do that in the game, for her to get on that big stage, and for people to see that, that's exciting. Not only for her, but like for me too, because like I said, she's overlooked. I wouldn't have known that had people not been like, yeah. You know, she is overlooked because this is my first year playing with her. And last year, they talked about her so much. To me, I've always right. thought, you know, oh, and Emma's good. Then I watched her play with her national team. She's good. So <laughs> for her name to actually become something big and great over here, too, is really good because she deserves it.